All right, Coach, so you guys pick up the three-game sweep over Ryder, a really strong performance there, especially in game two or three. I want to start just quickly with your overall thoughts and what you liked most about your team's performance all weekend long. Um, I, I like the fact that after game one against Siena, we've kind of uh, you know started to play a better brand of baseball around, you know, defend, throw strikes, uh, compete at the plate, and it's certainly shown in the uh, results column. And how big was your? would you say your pitching was this weekend, really, from start to finish, once you guys get that lead in game one? I mean, you never looked back. Don't give up another run for the next 20-plus innings. Yeah, the guys, uh, they really threw the baseball well this weekend. And, and obviously, um, you know, we had Sip kind of do a, a couple of different things for us, and he stepped up big. And, you know, Andrew Newsell had had a couple of rough starts for us. He had a great outing yesterday. And uh, JP has just done what he's done. And, and, you know, you mix Tyler Smith in there, who's been uh, very good for us as well. It was, it was a good weekend on the mound. There, there's no doubt about that. Would you say overall this is the kind of consistency you want to see your team start playing and continue to keep going forward down the rest, remainder of the season? Um, without question. Obviously, that's what you're striving for. Uh, I, I, the one thing I would say is, you know, we're still doing some little things that I think wrong and that we address. We address on a regular basis. And um, I, I'd say from a positive standpoint, we, I think we've played well in the last five uh, conference games, but there's still room for growth and improvement. And, and I still think we got a chance to play better baseball even to come. How big was Steckel's bat for you guys consistently throughout the weekend? He's he's really been good of late, and, and he's come up with some big hits and some big spots. And um, you know, a lot of people debate what what you may define as clutch, but uh, those have been some uh, big moments and, and game changing moments. And we try to talk about those. There's other times in a game that that come and and. Competitive people can sniff them out and, and respond, and whether it's uh, to rise up to the occasion or else just to calm themselves down in order to perform at the highest level, and, and certainly Ryan did that this weekend. So what would you say the biggest overall thing that you can take away from this weekend and like to apply to it going forward? Well, I, I really thought that you know our back was to the wall these past two weekends after the Maris uh, series, and and we've certainly responded, and you know we've got four of the last, or excuse me, five of the last six, and and that's put us back into the mix in the in the conference. And as you look at it, you can see how tight it is, and and it's it's absolutely a bizarre year. Like uh, there's probably been more sweeps than I've ever seen before, and and teams that are doing the sweeping are getting swept. There's no. Um, it's not like a top-heavy, bottom-heavy league like it, it might have been in certain years. Like uh, everybody's in it all the time, and you know it's going to be a heck of a battle right to the finish. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan. So you guys get back on track in a big way this weekend with a three-game sweep over Ryder. Four for six today with three doubles. I mean, what did you do right from the get-go, even from the start of this weekend, to have that confidence in the box? Um, you know, we've been talking a lot about just staying relaxed and confident in ourselves, and. I think that's just what happened this weekend. Honestly, I didn't really do anything different. I just swung at the correct pitches and hit them well. A bit of a resurgence going for you this year. You take a little bit step back, but now really this weekend I think really demonstrates just how big of an impact you've had with this team so far. I mean, where's the confidence been coming from to really get back to being yourself at the plate? Um, well, I had I started off successfully freshman year and last year had a little bit down here, like you're saying, and. The, over the summer, I just kind of reset and relaxed and started having fun playing. You know, I didn't have as much fun last year for sure. And um, I listened to this guy's name, Steve Springer. He talks a lot about mentally being confident in yourself and stuff like that. And it really helped me this year. And I try to preach it to the guys in the team. And it works for me. So I keep listening to him and it works well. Do you enjoy those moments where there's a couple of guys on base, two outs coming down to the ending, end of an inning? Either you're the one that has to extend it or it comes to an end. Do you like that pressure? Um, yeah, I guess it is pressure, but um, kind of talking, listening to that guy, Steve Springer, you know, he just kind of says, like, one of his things is slow heartbeat, and I tell myself that before I get in the box every time. And those pressure situations, when you breathe, don't turn into, like, big pressure situations. You're just up there swinging and having a good time playing baseball. And, you know, I love hitting with guys on base. I love getting RBIs. Like, that's a huge thing, you know, and production's a big thing, and I'm happy when I come through and produce. And then how do you guys keep this going now as you make this push down the stretch, as you re-climb up the standings a bit with this three-game sweep? Um, you know, just got to stay doing what we're doing right now. You know, this weekend we had a lot of guys. Confident pitching was really great this weekend. Um, I think we didn't give up any runs the second or third game, correct? Am I correct? Um, so 
you know, it's just a big thing for guys get out early and be aggressive and, uh, you know, stay hot. And, like, a lot of guys that are playing well continue to play well. If you're not playing well, relax and have confidence in yourself. Like, fake it till you make it. And, you know, the MAC is so uh, – I think even this year, you know, a lot of teams that are just a lot of losses and a lot of wins, you know, and just I think where we are right now, if we just stay doing what we're, we know we can do and stay confident, we can make a run and make the playoffs and hopefully win a MAC championship again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Andrew, you guys get back on track in a big way today, today and this weekend with the overall three-game sweep of Ryder. What does this mean for your team to gain this confidence as you start to make this final push down the season towards Max? Um, it's always big to sweep a team in conference play, so I think it gives the guys a lot of confidence, and hopefully we can keep it rolling throughout the rest of the season. And then you're the starter of game three here today. Six shutout innings, only scatter three hits across the board. What did you do to really set the tone early? Uh, well, I got a lot of confidence in my defense, so my main objective is just go out there, throw strikes, don't let guys get on base, and if I can hit spots and they make weak contact, it makes my job a lot easier. So overall, it was a good day, I thought. And when you start getting through that order the second, even third time, what kind of adjustments do you have to make as a pitcher to really keep them guessing? Um, it's big on changing speeds. and. If you can change speeds, guys can't sit on fastballs and they can't make good contact. So if you can get breaking balls over, change ups over, it makes your job a lot easier. And then you see this offense start to get going early as well with those two first runs in the first inning. What does that do for your mindset as well to know that they've got your back with giving you some support? It's, it's a big confidence boost. Pitching with the lead is a lot easier than pitching with the tie game. It just takes a lot of pressure, I guess, off you. And it just, again, you just go out there and you throw strikes. It's, it makes your job a lot easier. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.